Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a template in Canva in 2023. So today we're diving into a valuable skill that will streamline your design workflow, which is how to create a template in Canva. If you're ready to enhance your efficiency and consistency in design, stick around and I will guide you through the step-by-step -step process of creating a template in Canva in 2023. So make sure to stick by and let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience first we'll have to go and access your canva account to do so go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with here in my case i'm actually going to use the brave browser and of course in your case it could be any other browser that you could possibly have once you open that browser basically just go to the url section and type canva.com and hit the enter button this should take you into the home screen or main screen of Canva. Of course, you'll not find yourself in here. This is already on my account because I'm already logged in. For you, you will be on something. Let me just open Ecognito so to show you exactly. Yeah, so for you, you'll find yourself in here. If you don't know nothing about Canva, just scroll down, read some of insights and information about it to familiarize yourself or know better about it. It will take from you like one minute. Then, if you have an account, of course, go to the top right corner, click on Login to your account. If you don't, click on Sign Up to sign up or to create a new account or click on Sign Up for free to just create an account. Of course, they have three plans. Go and check or uh, start with whatever plan you want. Of course, there is a free one, so don't worry. Of course, it will lack a lot of features, but still doable and you can still work with it. So, once you logged into your account or just created your account, you'll find yourself on something like this. What you'll need to do now is simply go and click on create a design at the top right corner in here as an example go and click on that and choose a template that's aligned with the type sorry and just choose a template that's aligned with the type of design that you want to create for whether it's social media posts as an example like instagram posts or i don't know whatever you're using so we have mobile video presentation flyer youtube shorts video uh, whatever you want so maybe presentations business cards i don't know canva has like a wide range of templates that you can choose from here from the search so as an example uh, if you're going to use it for a business card so let's see if they yeah as you can see they have it in here so just go and choose whatever suits you searches in here and you will find that right there as an example let's see that's where, let's say that's where i'm going to choose the logo right here so once we choose our templates we'll have to customize our templates so let's say as an example it's a post for something so i'll just go here to elements and add yeah i used this recently it's a basic like picture is good to use smaller bits wanted to align with everything yeah like that and let's add as an example i don't know a qr code so i have the qr code app installed of course if you for you if you don't know how to install it you can simply go and watch one of my videos before or simply go here and type qr code you'll find an app you will have to download this it will take from you 10 seconds to download it then click on use app enter the url that you want the code to take you in as an example https uh, two slashes and no i miss it up i like that okay i'm still missing up so yeah like that and let's say this will take you i don't know to your instagram account so instagram.com slash tester here of course it should be your name of course you can customize it background color foreground color margin whatever you want then let's say example I want the background color i don't know like this and the code should be or the qr code should be blue let's edit the margins a bit and click on generate code as you can see you can even uh, remove the margins at all and as you can see the qr code will be bigger so do whatever suits you and yeah you'll have your qr code in here let's say this is an instagram post or i don't know whatever it is and once you have it in here go back now and we have as an example our design with a picture and a QR code. Let's just add, I don't know, a watermark. How to add a watermark? Simply go to text, add whatever font you like. Let's say uh, our mark is the name of your brand or the, the watermark for you is the name of your brand. So I'll just type coming soon as a watermark. 
and of course I'll repeat that and I'll lower it a bit so it's been the same line yeah like that make it bigger a bit and yeah I guess this will be great so here an example I'll play with the transparency I'll make it I'll lower it a bit and I'll give it an orange color of course it will not be shown I'll go to effects and or I can give it like a glitch or a neon whatever it is just give it more intensity go to transparency just add it a bit and yeah it will be like that so let's say this is your watermark this is your QR code this is your pose for you just customize your templates how you want just customize it to suit your brand or project and adjust the colors fonts and elements to match your preferred style and this will serve as the foundation of your templates let's say this is your template as an example so just for you do all the customization that you want i don't know for me let's even add some animation no i'll not add animations of course here you can play with the position of that if you don't want to keep moving it with the mouse other than that you can i don't know draw something on it of course you can always go back with the control z so if you did like something in here you can always go back with the control z so don't worry about that other than that i guess like uh, that's it of course as an example you can always use this even canva assistance to assist you like recommended action like magic writes text share you can search for anything that you want this ai like it helps everyone nowadays to do whatever they want so yeah just once you customize your template just add elements and layouts consider like the elements you consistently use in your designs whether it's logo as example uh, i don't know just go with the logo and let's say this is your logo and uh, no i don't want to add this as a new page i'll just want to drop it here that's it will yeah it will remove my whole page so i don't want to remove my whole page i just want it as a small logo so just go and add a new page okay now can we make it like smaller okay this logo oh it contains a lot of things so okay i just go back no need to add a new page for that i just wanted like a small logo but it seems it's all like pages I don't know let just go 3d logos why not that's okay those for it's the current page so i cannot make it okay no need to so for you just add your logos add the elements that you want duplicate pages for variety as example if you would like to change colors for other templates or something like that and you can now go and share it and download this and even you can save it as templates if you want to you can now if you go out as an example i don't even need to click on save or something like that just refresh the page and you will find it on recent designs like whatever you added just go and click on that and as you can see you'll find it right there with everything that you added so yeah i guess that's it so if you like this video make sure to leave a like down below subscribe to our channel for more helpful shows like this one and i'll see you in the next video